So I'm going to erase the guts here. Because now we're, we know that we're dealing with this, right? And we know this is 10. To solve the triangle, I need how many more angles before I can solve this triangle? Do I have to find both angles with sine law? No. How many do I have to find, your carrot? One. Because once I have two of them, I know the third, right? So... I know you, 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 you guys like the sides in the numerator, yes? So I know that 20 over sine 58 equals what? What's the only other side I know? What's the only other side I know? 10 over sine. I haven't given this a letter, but since that's little b, what must this be? Big B. 10 over sine b. Now, when I do the math, I'm going to get my third angle, aren't I? My second angle, which automatically gives me my third angle, yes? Right? This is big C, so what's this? Little c. So I also know that little c over sine c is going to work, yes? And c equals 180 minus A minus B, right? So as soon as I know B, I know C. Yeah? So do the trick. Find me B right now. What is it? It's going to be shift sine of what? 10 sine... 58 over what? 20. When I shift sign that, I'm going to get what? What's that going to give me? It's going to give me 25, which is B, correct? So B equals 25. So what does C automatically equal? If A is 58, B is 25, what's C? What? 97? 97. If C is 97, what do I write right there? I write the sine of 97. Now, I could use B, because I know B is 25 right now, yeah? But we rounded B off, didn't we? So we should probably use this, yes? So 20 times sine 97 divided by sine 58 gets me C. 20 sine 97 divided by sine 58 gets me little c. Now, I would like to remind you that in the real world, if you are honestly sending the spaceship to Mars, is that 25 or that 97 the actual numbers you would use? No. Now, do not do yet what I am about to show you. What this question would really look like if we were doing this in reality, like we were honestly sending the, the spaceship to Mars. B equals... Right? That's what B equaled, yeah? Agreed? C equaled 180 minus 58 minus sine negative 1, 10 sine 58 over 20. If you were writing this on a board in a university class, for example, 
180 minus 58 would be 122, right? You would write 122 minus bracket, shift sign bracket, 10 sign 58 over 20. Now, all of you have watched Big Bang Theory or Goodwill Hunting or some movie like that, right? Where the entire board is filled with equations, yes? This is why they don't round stuff off. They leave it exact until the end. And then once I know C, that was going right here, right? The 97 was supposed to be C, yeah? So this is what would go here. So this, in reality, would be 20 sine bracket 122 minus bracket sine minus 1 bracket 10 sine 58 over 20. Bracket divided by sine 58. That's what your answer should look like. Now, could you punch that into your calculator? If you have a forwards calculator, you could punch this in exactly as you see it. And if you have a backwards calculator, you just work backwards. You would start here, right? You would go 58 sine times 10 divided by 20. Shift sign, right? plus one, or minus 122, then sign that, then times 20, then divided by sine, or 58 sine, so you get a backwards calculator. Now, do I want to see this at your level? Do I want this? No, of course not. I am perfectly happy with round-offs. Everybody cool? So what's this one going to be? Do I have to do any more work? No, because the triangle doesn't exist. And this one's a choice. Right? This guy. And this guy. This guy. What's the pair I have? 133 over... Sine 35 equals 230 over sine, the green sign, yes? Right? Once I have that green sign, then 133 over sine 35 equals the purple side purple over what? Over what? Sign yellow. How do I find sign yellow? It's 180 minus 35 minus green equals yellow. Everybody cool? And over here, does anything change? No. Just the green angle is going to be smaller, isn't it? Because I'm lean the other way. And the yellow angle is going to be bigger because I'm lean the other way. Pardon? They won't just swap. Or will they? Do some work. Prove it. And you're going to put these numbers in. Everybody good? What do I need to do here? Shift sign or regular sign? Shift sign to get the angle. What do I need to do here? I'm going to know that angle, so this is... Regular sign. Then the same thing over here. Okay? Okay. 